The reason you're not living your dream life right now is because you continue to accept your beliefs what they are without even questioning if they're doing you any good. For the longest time, I would live my life continuously saying to myself that I'm unhappy, I'm super sad, I'm misunderstood, I was awkward, I couldn't talk to girls, I couldn't talk to people, I couldn't be around others, I thought so many people hated me, I wondered what everyone thought about me, and I just portrayed myself that way. And does that belief really serve me? Does it serve me to say like I'm socially awkward? Or does it share, like serve me to say that every single day that life is getting worse and worse or that I'll never be good or successful or positive or I'm not smart or I'm not successful or I don't know how to do these things or I'm incapable of this <clears throat> or I'll never be good at this. For example, like, I don't know, I started playing guitar four months ago, but I never thought that I would ever play guitar. keep whatever it doesn't matter like that impressed me because I was just like wow I never thought I could play the guitar there's no way in hell and four months later I'm able to do like fun little riffs and do fun stuff like let's see what else is there because you can't teach an all dog new tricks right that's like the that's like the whole saying right and being 24 years old and say okay like let's go pick up guitar like, I don't have enough time. I don't have to be, time to be bothered for that. It's like, is this out of tune? Probably is. Where is this? Do you do this? Let's see. Oh, 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 you caught me. I feel like for the short period of time that I've been playing guitar, and it really hasn't feel like I played that much. That's a that's an amazing thing just to sit down and be like, hey, I'm willing to like look stupid for however long it takes in order just to have fun with the thing that I want to have fun with, rather than saying I can never play guitar or I could never speak to girls or like at some point like I really genuinely thought like no one ever liked me and I was annoying and stupid and that belief perpetuated like throughout my entire life and it was hard for me to speak to others and then eventually I found out that. Speaking to others is like some, one of my greatest talents. And there are ways so that you can overcome these beliefs. And it takes repetition and it takes time. And so through this video, I'm going to help you understand like one, what causes your reality or your life? Two, how can you change it? And three, what does it take? You know, like how long does this take? What does this, this cycle look like? How do I continue to do this all my life? And so for myself, the biggest thing that I've noticed is that you can change about two habits at a time, right? And that's just to keep things easy in the very beginning. And to understand like what, what the core of all of it is, it's understanding that the world is a mirror, right? The world is an, a mirror of your internal reality, how you feel and how you think. So if you were, for example, I was going to this party once in Los Angeles and I started seeing people getting kicked out, like there's guards at the door, yada, yada, yada. And we we're like, dude, like, are we going to meet this party? I was like, hey guys, don't even worry about it. Let's just walk up and like, just keep going to the house. And so that level of confidence that we had walking up to the house, we just walked up, dapped with the security guard, got into the house, met a bunch of people, met the owner of the house. He's like, wait a second, how'd you guys even get in here? Like, I don't know. We just got confident and lucky and happy. But when you walk up with the, this energy of, I'm not sure I'm going to get in. I don't think it's going to work. You probably would have walked up to the door looking around, asked security guard, is it the right place? And that's not going to get you where you need to go. In life, you need to assume that you're already the thing that you want to be so that the world can give you back exactly what you assume that you are. And you have to truly believe that. And Earl Nightingale kind of says it's best that we become what we think about and every man and woman is exactly where they want to be, whether they realize it or not. And the core idea is in order for you to get what you want out of life, you need to hold your ideal dream life inside of your mind constantly and consistently so that you can start moving towards it. And now, how do we do that? It's primarily through habits. Our habits cause our reality. Our habits cause our actions. Our actions cause our reality. It starts off with our programming, which is our thoughts, the feelings, and beliefs. It goes into our feelings, cause our actions, and our actions cause our results. And our actions eventually become habitual. So for the next, let's say, 60 days, right? 
A new habit that I want to pick up is creating a video every single day and speaking to the camera regardless of how it goes. Eventually, this habit will just form and then I'll just be able to do it every single day without even thinking about it. And so now for a lot of other people, that could be a very difficult skill once you don't pick up that habit. And so that could be the same thing with your financial goals. It can be the same thing with your relationship goals. Every single day, you have to sit down and consciously think about the way that you want the world to be rather than the way that is thrown at you. You need to have let life, you need to go at life and not let life come at you. And so one way that we used to do this, I was actually mentored by one of Bob Proctor's uh, mentees, is you would write down your dream life every single day, right? And the way that I've, I've really seen the best results of getting exactly what I want out of life is writing down on a piece of paper, I am William Stewart. I am the year post my age so let's say i'm 24 now i write 25 years old and then i i dot 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 i dot 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 dot. i when i was 20 years old i was in um sergeant camp blc and every single day i wrote down a piece of paper i'm william stewart i'm 24 21 years old i'm a realtor i'm a university student uh i think i said i was married or something like that and all of those things came true within the year, and I wrote those th- things down on a piece of paper every single day, constantly, consistently, every single day. And I actually saw those things reproduce. Another thing that I would do constantly, consistently is inside my mind, anytime that you have a negative belief that is in contradiction of the new belief that you want, you'd write down a new belief. I'm so happy and grateful now that Monday comes to me and. It can, uh, and I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Anytime I feel like a limiting thought or belief, I just let that line pop up my head until it's an automatic line. And usually it takes about 21 days in order for this habit to form. And normally these beliefs, these programs you have in your mind, it could be I'm broke or people don't like me or I'm annoying or life is difficult. Anytime you think a thought that aligns with that, you immediately change it with your new written out decided factor so let's say it was i'm annoying it's like no people love me for who i am and my friendships grow everlasting every single day right or i'm so annoying no the idea that you now have is my friendships and my friends love me and they love me for who i am and every single time that i am who i am they love me more something along those lines another key thing is to make sure you're doing this prior to sleeping you can't really go to sleep on negative thoughts because those negative thoughts really 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 build themselves up inside your dreams and when you wake up from your dreams unconsciously you are already carrying out from what already helped what happened in your dreams like as a rehearsal for example like your dreams are at the rehearsal before the play and so that rehearsal primes you in your emotions for the day to come and so the day to come is just a replication of all those emotions that you built up during your sleep time so you need to feel success a good book is feeling is a secret by neville goddard so you lay down and you go to sleep and you think to yourself every day in every way my friendship is better and better and the more that i am myself what is it my friends love me more, right? Instead of I'm annoying. And you do that, you can do it as many times as you like. I like to repeat it over and over and over and over again until I go to sleep. Um, and the biggest thing is to remember that this is a 21 day practice, right? So for the next 21 days, what I want you to do is I want you to pick one habit, one thing that you know that if you change, your whole life would change, regardless of it, what, if it's true or not, lie to yourself. Every day, I want you to wake, go to sleep, Thinking that thought, I'm, so for me, I'll, for example, I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities to multiple sources on a continuous basis. You'll do that when you wake up. I'm so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities to multiple sources. And then you're going to go to the mirror as you're brushing your teeth. I'm so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities to multiple sources. And then throughout the day, if you feel like a negative or lack of abundance thought or feeling, you'll s- replace that thought with I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities to multiple sources on a continuous basis. And you can replace that with whatever negative belief you have in your life that you know would help you and benefit you. All right. Good luck. Give me a follow for more stuff like this. And I love you with all of my heart.